The Mirage F1, the transparent model of which is presented here, is a modern combat aircraft manufactured by the Marcel Dassault Breguet Aviation. It can fly at more than 2,300 kilometers per hour and beyond 18,000 meters altitude. It has a Snecma Atar 9K50 turbojet engine with a 7,200 kilogram thrust. French industry designed and built all the parts of this airplane, from the weaponry and missiles to the electronic installations on various onboard equipment. The Mirage F1 presented here is the air defense version, which entered into service in the French Air Force at the beginning of 1974. Here is the new section, with the radar which enables enemy aircraft to be identified in any way and from a great distance. It gives the pilot, in his visor, information which enables him to intercept the enemy in the right position to identify it and fire if necessary. The cockpit, with all the navigation instruments, flight controls, fire control systems, and the ejector seat, which allows the pilot to evacuate the airplane when necessary, as quickly and safely as possible. Given the speeds and altitudes reached by this aircraft, an artificial atmosphere was created in the cockpit so that the pilot could live in. This survival atmosphere is obtained by pressurizing and heating the cockpit and providing the pilot with the breathable oxygen required. Immediately behind the cockpit is the radio bay, where the following are installed. Electrical power system, the electricity being produced by alternators driven by the engine, radio communication equipment, transmission and reception, the system's heating sensitive equipment at high altitude subject to temperatures going as low as minus 60 degrees Celsius, or on the contrary, cooling them at high speed when air friction on the airplane skin raises the temperature of the metal up to more than 60 degrees Celsius. Behind the radio bay is the intermediate compartment with the fuel accumulator that supplies the engine with fuel when flying upside down. The fuel system that controls the supply from various tanks installed in the wings to increase capacity. The hydraulic system that drives the flight control actuators and allows the folding undercarriage to be maneuvered. Two 30 millimeter automatic cannons, which make up the fixed onboard armament. Only the left cannon is present on the model. At the aft is the engine, the 5,600 kilogram dry thrust jet engine, equipped with afterburner that can increase the thrust up to 7,200 kilograms for a few minutes. Connected to the engine are the alternators and the hydraulic system pumps with their accumulators. Under the wings is the undercarriage, which retracts inside the aircraft. In the wings, the vertical stabilizer and the fin, we can see the flight control surface actuators as well as the radio antennae. This model thus shows the considerable amount of equipment on board the airplane. In fact, the whole of the inside of the fuselage and wings is occupied either by fuel or equipment. It is easy to understand that for a modern airplane, the quality of its equipment is as important as the quality of its engine or airframe.